there have been lots of recent major changes in parts box, and this quick tour is intended to briefly take you through some of them and let you know what's new. Beginning with the main screen, there is now a new stock section, where you can quickly access your global stock history. You can limit the history to either only add stock operations or only remove stock operations. You can also select a date range, for example, to quickly produce a monthly inventory movement report. The table, like most tables in PartsBox, is configurable and exportable. Ordered stock shows which parts have recently been ordered and are on the way to you. You can see the part, quantity, vendor, and expected delivery date. Clicking on the purchase order number takes you directly to the order, which is useful when receiving parts. Order information has been rearranged and grouped into logical sections. Your order data in the first row and vendor provided data in the second row. You don't have to enter the purchase order number. Partsbox automatically generates unique IDs. Orders can now be in one of three states, open, ordered, or received. Open orders are working drafts, which can be modified. You can adjust part quantities, add parts to an order, or delete order items. You can also produce a printed purchase order, or copy the information into a distributor website to place the order. If you mark an order as ordered, Partsbox will know that you expect parts to arrive on a certain date. This information will be shown when you look at available stock for your parts. After you receive your parts, you can quickly add all or some of them to your inventory by selecting the parts you'd like to receive and a target storage location. Parts received this way will have the quantity and price stored automatically. Once all parts have been received, the order is marked as received. Let's now look at the part information. The part menu has been rearranged. What used to be called part storage is now called stock because it shows both available stock and stock that has been ordered but hasn't arrived yet. Everything related to buying parts has been grouped into the purchasing section. It shows all orders that contain this part, lets you add local offers from your vendors, and lets you quickly get pricing for this part from all vendors. You can also add the part to an open order or add it to a newly created order with any vendor. Going back to the part menu, the add stock process has been changed and split into three steps. Step one is to enter the quantity and pricing, either manually or by receiving against an order. Step two is to select the location for the added parts. Step three is for comments and lot information. In the first step, you can still enter the quantity and pricing manually, but if you use parts box for ordering, it's quicker to receive against an order. This will automatically fill the quantity, pricing, and remember the vendor part number, or SKU. The next big feature is called vendor rules, which can be defined in settings. When buying parts, you often have preferences for which vendors you like to use. Many companies buy all their parts from a single vendor, but other vendors might often have better pricing. Partsbox lets you define rules that determine how offers are selected. Let's look at an example. Here is a set of rules called Our Preferred Vendors. There are three rules, which will be processed in order. The first one is to buy from either LCSC or TME, whichever has the best price. If these vendors do not have the part in stock, processing moves on to the next rule, which is to buy from DigiKey. If DigiKey doesn't have the part, we have a fallback to Mouser. Let's see how this works in practice. We have a purchase list with parts that we intend to buy for our future production. If we select no rules, parts box will select the cheapest offers from distributors worldwide. This is not always what you want, so let's select our vendor rule set. As you can see, only distributors from our vendor rules have been selected. And if we group parts by distributor, you can see that we will be placing three orders. Speaking of which, there is now a quick way to add all the parts to an order, either an existing one or a new one. You can then copy all the information into the vendor website to place an order. The new ordering functionality should save you a lot of time and effort and provide more flexibility in working with multiple vendors. 
That's it for the quick tour, and note that we've only talked briefly about each feature. More detailed tutorial videos are coming soon, so please look for those to learn more about how those features can improve your workflow. Thank you for watching, and please enjoy using PartsBox.